So a wee bit of a boom repair to do here today on a uh, Hitachi depot arm. So I'm going to get stuck into this. It needs a little bit of a V cut here. I'm going to cut a wee bit of a V in this across. And I'm going to fill, fill the V obviously up with uh, a few runs of weld. So I'll show you me doing that now. So we can see this here now. I'm not anywhere, I'm not close yet. I have a bit to go. The crack is there. So I'm kind of in the wrong place here on the corner, but it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna, I'll have to cut back a little bit more. It's good, I'll, I'll put more weld here on this edge where it needs more strength anyway. And uh, uh, the crack, I've pretty much hit it pretty much where it needs to be over here. I've cut right through it. And it, it actually goes up in a little bubble here, so I'll probably cut an extra piece out here till I get down to the bottom of it and I'll fill it across then. So I'm getting there. Don't know if you can see that or not, but that's where the, the crack is here. So I've got it, it's, re, it's, it's perfectly, it's cut okay over here. I'll probably just widen it a tiny bit more at the bottom just to get down into it. And then here, you can see a little bit of a hump here. See the crack there at the tip of the screwdriver. So it's I'm a wee bit out, but I'm just trying to guess what the crack is. And then and then you can see it's a bit up, it's a wee bit further up, so I'm gonna have to cut a little bit out of here to get down into it. So that took a little bit longer than I expected, and uh, I had to take out a li uh, quite a bit more than I thought I would have to. Have. But uh, I think I've got everything out there, and I've, there's a lot of hairline cracks in here. There's hairline cracks everywhere in it. There's a hairline crack up through here. I just simply, it was going too far, I was going to end up taking out too much, so I just pretty much cut a, cut another V that way, I'll have to weld that one that way as well. It's a good stitch anyway, it'll do no harm. So, um, yeah, this was the weak side, that same side seems to be fine, there's no sign of crack at, at all there. It was, a, it was The crack kind of stopped here, I just went a little bit further to make sure. Uh, I'm pretty confident those, you see it's so wide here now because there was literally cracks throughout this everywhere. There was, Little cracks this way, cracks that way. Every time you cut, you could see the little line running up through the metal. So obviously, that's none of that's any good. So I had to cut them all out, make sure they were all out. So I'm happy enough now that this very wide gap, obviously, is for 10 mil owls. No, it's more. It's it's probably about 15 mil at the top, and here it's 10 mil at the top here. Widens out. But um, yeah, so gonna get uh, stuck into warming this up and hopefully get a filler rod into this now in a few minutes get the get the bottom bit filled up and uh, there's a plate in underneath this as you can see you can see obviously you can't see a hole down through it there's a plate there so I'll probably uh, I'll make use of that to get my weld built up I'll probably build up this wide section first and not concentrate on over here I want to get this section done here first get a lower section done then get a filled section across just this wee section Get the whole lower part of it filled up, ground out, nice and tidy, ready to start building it up then. It'll take a little bit of bit of time, but not too worried. I'm gonna get some gas at it, get it get it uh, warmed up as well, make sure the steel's nice and supple for the for the rod.
I have got it obviously filled, as I showed you before, and I've got this uphill piece done. Now this might look a little bit stupid looking, but I just ground it down. Uh, I'm actually cross stitching it at the moment. I'm going to keep cross stitching it the entire way up, just to give it a, an extra bit of um, strength. Then I'll, I'll flatten off uh, the cross stitching with the grinder and we'll tidy it up later on. But I'm just trying to give it that it has good tight attachment across both sides never mind in the center which is very very well welded with no uh, no holes or anything like that so this is just this looks a wee bit odd but it's it's uh, just to try and uh, yes yeah, just uh, so that I can cross stitch across here now and then I'm going to start filling up here which I'll, I'll set up the camera so we're all welded up here now it's it completely welded up I'm going to tidy it up now with the grinder. Actually, no, I've just spotted a wee spot, a little bit of a low spot up here. So, yeah, I'll just stick a little bit of a rod on that. Uh, yeah, otherwise, I'm going to hit it with the grinder, flatten it all down, flatten it as best I can. I'm not going to take it all away because that's, that's how you weaken it again. I'm just going to flatten it as much as I need to so that I can put a little bit of fillers across it just to tidy it up so that it looks the part. And hopefully, we'll not be revisiting this one. So that's our all ground up. It's all pretty flush. It's tiny, tiny rays in the middle of it. Left the kind of the bridge a well to hold. Um, I'm happy enough with that. As you can see, those fillers used here before to tidy this up. So I'm just going to use another little bit, patch it across, fill it up, give it a wee run of the sander. That'll do. Give it a bit of paint. I have to get a little bit of a touch up can of orange, but I'll give it a little bit of primer for now. Seal it up as best I can. That's it.